Just got back from Virginia. Shout out to Mason and Israel. No fancy thumbnails that have a hidden subliminal message. Just going to get straight to the point. Well, the thumbnail is going to have uh, one of my old Toontown videos, but that's not a hidden nor subliminal message, considering what I'm about to talk about. Now, even though the video, even though the short I posted directly telling people why I took my Toontown videos down, even though they got 1,600 views, which is about half of the views I was getting when I was making the Toontown Clash videos, I figured that because that was about 50% of my old active audience that enough people would have gotten the hints that I'm never going back to Toontown, that I'm never going to regress back to the person that I was 10 years ago. But, and even though I know these people gossip about me every day, it seems like they either don't get the message or they're under some sort of false delusional belief that I would ever regress back to who I was before. Guys, let me, let me just say this clearly, okay? The real world is predatory, cutthroat, and cruel. If you are not constantly evolving, constantly elevating, constantly perfecting your craft, and constantly attracting stronger energies to you, you're not going to make it in the real world, okay? Toontown is some shit that I started playing because in 11th grade, I injured my foot running track. After my foot recovered, I got on Toontown about one to two hours a day after track practice when I got home from school. After I graduated school, I think that's when I quit Toontown. I think I quit in 2011. I'm not entirely sure. Then the game closed three years later, and I never played Rewritten because Rewritten banned me from the game like as soon like Joey banned me from the game and said I'm not wanted because I made a video called uh, Fuck Around Itis where I basically said that compared to Toontown Infinite, Toontown Rewritten had Fuck Around Itis. Now when I made that video, I didn't know that Lefty stole the code and basically had a head start in getting their server finished. Nonetheless, I was banned from Rewritten since day one, so never played that game. And, well, originally, I was I thought about doing a walkthrough of it, but I, I said, fuck that shit, right? Fast forward, I think, four years after that, some people told me about Clash. They said that Clash has the good players and that Clash is like the harder version of the original Toontown and that the CEO had Sonic the Hedgehog speed. So I gave the Toontown shit one more try. And I immediately saw that I was lied to. Clash isn't harder than the original Toontown. Clash is easier than the original Toontown. I mean, it's easier to level. The rewards are more overpowered, you know, because in the original Toontown, if you didn't have drop or lore, your SOS drop and lore would miss. SOS lore and drop are the most overpowered SOSs in that game. And Clash makes it easier for you to spam those because they made it so that SOS drop and lore just never misses. So I'm like, oh wow, I was lied to. This game is too easy. Gave it a shot until I got to my favorite boss of that time, uh, the CEO, because everybody was telling me that that game had Sonic the Hedgehog speed. By the, by the second CEO, I was going hitless. I mean, the, the CEO was even easier than the original Toontown one because you could stun lock them. Yeah, they made them a little bit faster, but that doesn't matter when you can just keep them stun locked. Now, you could argue that, okay, if just don't stun lock them and have a decent chip, but no, he's still easy. So, and then, you know, after I beat the creators of Clash in the Zap debate, and I know I won that debate because I was told by somebody who was addicted to Clash that they actually completely redesigned how Zap worked because nobody was using it because it sucked. That's my first debate victory, by the way, the Zap fuckers, right? I may or may not un unprivate that video because 
that kind of started the whole the whole debate shit with me. So after and then like after I won that debate, right, people started making up all kinds of rumors about me. Well, I know who did it. It was one of my ex girlfriends, a chick I dated ten years ago that who I dumped. Which, funny enough, she tried to come on my stream and lie and say that she dumped me, so I proceeded to just show some personal conversations, proving, no, I left you because you're crazy. And that live stream is still on my channel, by the way, if anybody wants proof. But, so yeah, I found out one of my ex-girlfriends, that who I completely forgot about, right? She was making up all kinds of rumors about me, giving it to the Clash people, because the Clash people hated that I beat them in a debate. And at that point, I realized, okay, these fuckers are crazy. So, why am I making this video? I want you guys to understand two things, okay? I talk about this all the time. In order to attract stronger energy, you must first cut off all weaker energy, okay? Even though I was already at a certain level when I tried Toontown again, all that weak energy was holding me back. So when I, when I got banned from that game and I cut off the players that played that game, right, I started to attract stronger energy. Israel, for example, I met him during the class shit, okay? I met him after I cut all those fuckers off. Well, no, I met him during the drama, <clears throat> but he stayed in the server after I cut all those fuckers off. And I don't think anybody's going to argue that Israel has weak energy. So, and then when I completely got rid of all my old Toontown videos and all my old Pirate 101 videos, after I cut off all the remaining weak energy from my channel, my life proceeded to improve tenfold. The shit that immediately started happening to me after I did that, some of you guys would call it insanity. Nonetheless, I've come too far to ever allow myself to regress back to the person that I used to be, right? I know some of you guys loved my old contents because when you were, I mean, I had one chick fucking would comment on, I banned this chick from my channel because she also was falsely spreading this rumor that I said Nazis invented autism, probably because she had autism herself by her own admission and, you know, she didn't like that her little childhood hero was suddenly against who she was, right? But she used to comment on my, she'll probably see this one. She used to comment on my videos calling me a hero because while she was depressed in the hospital, single, an autistic single mother, by the way, while she was depressed in the hospital with her child, my videos made her laugh. Ha ha, comedy, right? Listen, man, I don't do comedy, right? Sometimes I'll joke around in real life if I'm with my friends, but I don't do the comedy shit, man. I, like even the even the CEO gone bad video, right? People found that video funny for whatever reason. Listen, man. I know some of you guys liked those videos because it made you laugh and it triggered your tickle spots and it and it kept you away from the realities of the real world because you could you could embrace the fantasy land called Toontown. The fantasy land called Toontown Rewritten, Toontown Corporate Clash, where all your dreams come true, where there's no conflicting energy and everybody's in this unified harmony, Toontown struggle to throw pies at corporate raiders. That's not me. I live in the real fucking world. I don't live in fucking bitch city Toontown land, okay? At some point, even you people that have disabilities that still live with your parents who have autism and all kinds of mental impurities that keep you addicted to Toontown, eventually your parents will die. Eventually you will lose your support systems. Then what? Eventually you will need to go out into the real world. I read the comments that you fuckers be typing. Toontown is an escape. You go to college to delay going into the real world. Y'all do all this shit to avoid evolving, to avoid having anything come in conflict with your comfort zone. 
And me taking down my Toon Sound videos, yeah, that disrupted a lot of your comfort zones. Because even though there's many other Toon Sound YouTubers, it seems like people just don't want to go to those channels, right? They can still make y'all laugh. They can still make y'all feel that funny spot inside with your, with your little Toon Sound brethren. But that's not me. I've evolved, I've ascended, and I want to live in the real world because the real natural world is wonderful, okay? Way better than the fucking Toon Sound. I mean, shit, we were getting attacked by fish in the fucking ocean yesterday, man. That was way more fun. And then we were trying to, like, see through the ocean water to try to catch the fish that were attacking us, man. That, that, that's way more fun than fucking throwing pies on a fucking virtual video game. But I'm not judging, okay? I get it. You guys can have your fantasy. Just leave me out of it. I'm never going to make my Toontown videos public again. Somebody suggested that I should start an OnlyFans and put the Toontown videos on OnlyFans and make some money. I'm not doing that, man. I make enough fucking money to where I don't need to sell... like I, I, To where I don't need to sell my own fucking self-respect just to make a couple of more nickels, okay? I make enough fucking money. I mean, I don't need to make it off you guys. I made a post saying that anybody that asks me to bring those videos back is gonna get banned. This is the very last video I'm ever gonna talk about who I was before. Well, who I was before in terms of the Toontown shit. It was never my childhood, because I'm a bit older than some of you guys, okay? It was never my childhood. It was just some shit I played in between track practice. And I uploaded some videos, and suddenly I became the number one Toontown YouTuber in terms of views, right? I was the number two Toontown YouTuber behind Mega Snoop. But then after the class drama, despite being canceled, my views actually got higher than Mega Snoop's, right? It was never my childhood like you guys. It was never a significant part of my life like you guys. It was just some shit I did on the side while I lived my real life. Hopefully you guys that are still on this channel because you guys secretly hope that I'll ever post those videos again. Well, I would suggest leaving my channel because I'm never posting anything Toontown related after this video. I hope you guys eventually grow up yourselves and start living in the real world. Yeah, the real world is cruel, and I understand why you guys are afraid, but there's really nothing to be afraid of. The rewards that the real world will give you is far greater than any reward you'll ever get on Toontown. I'm going to leave it at that. And yeah, I think the next time I come on YouTube will be Sunday for that live debate. So yeah, I'll see you guys then. And yeah, this video's probably going to piss a lot of people off, and I'm expecting some hate comments. Bring it on. No matter what you guys say, no matter what you guys offer, I will not be posting those videos again. And yeah, I'm going to leave it at that.